Hello, this is Windjammer again. I wanted to do a tutorial on the uh, LTHQ. That's this uh, handsome box right here. Some of you may have heard about the LTHQ and uh, may not know too much about it. So I just wanted to do a quick uh, demonstration on what it is and how it works. And when I use it, I just wanted to kind of go into the, um, the, the steps and process of uh, how it works. Um, let's just take a look at the box itself. This is something that uh, Doug Marsh uh, developed and um, he uh, makes these in limited runs so uh, I know he's uh, working right now or trying to devise some ways to um, enhance or improve the design but this is like one of the first ones that Doug Marsh uh, came up with here. So let's just uh, open it up here and uh, just to take a quick peek inside here obviously you see some uh, batteries right here that uh, Doug has and this is kind of wired in here and uh, here is the let's see if we can get a focus on this and I'm trying to talk and do camera at the same time here but um, yeah this is the LTHQ and this is what uh, Doug has uh, populated and built here and uh, it's a uh, it's a pretty fascinating device here where he takes the uh, serial port uh, from the computer in here and he is able to um, make this uh, device interact with the LTHQ and if you see underneath here um, different uh, that's right there is an IR sensor and we got some LEDs right here IR LEDs and uh, this has pretty much a full 360 degree um, view of it so if anywhere 360 degrees around that you're at you can um, pretty much communicate your uh, laser tag gun can communicate with this so uh, what the LTHQ is designed for is to make hosting games um, a lot more robust and uh, make it easier and uh, just allow for more flexibility in games and game designs. So I'm going to put this back together real quick with one hand. And one thing that you might notice on here, for those of you who have LTHQs, is the switch. I added the switch. Uh, normally when Doug Marsh built these, the only way to turn this off is to um, take out a battery or unplug um, connector here this uh, connector there or this pigtail this powers the unit uh, I didn't like doing that every time so I just added a switch and this powers the unit and so you know when it's on when this light is on this is a power light right here so let's turn the switch on and voila now we have an on unit there okay and I'll make sure my focus is good. There we go. So we're going to on unit. So this is the LTHQ, hand built by Doug Marsh. And um, let's go ahead and hook it up and see how it works here. So again, I'm going to do all this with one hand. Working the LTHQ with one hand, filming with the other. Okay, so I've got a serial cable going in here. Let's take a look at this cable real quick. This is a... Uh, just a nine pin connector. This is a kind of an obsolete kind of a connector, um, but a nine pin, you could probably get one of these cables. A good place to get cables, I believe, is a place called Monoprice, monoprice.com. Um, they sell cables uh, pretty cheap, and this is an extension cable, this, this uh, cable right here. And again, doing this with one hand. There we go, close the latch. Now, um, this works best with this upside down like this because it has the IR sensor and the LEDs up on top. Okay, if you turn it up like this, then they're kind of hidden on the ground here. So you want it, when you position this, you want it with the battery down and on top like this. And I know some people have, uh, were able to maybe secure this on a tripod of some kind, uh, which you can do. I don't have it configured like this on mine, but um, yeah, so this, this cable here then go, is an extension cable and goes to this one here, and this is a cable USB serial converter, 
And what this does, it converts from, you had guessed it, USB to serial control. And you can get these on Amazon.com. And this cable then goes right into your netbook right here. And I got a nice gateway netbook here. I picked this on, up on uh, Woot.com over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. I got this for $200. Uh, it was a refurbished unit, and it works really good. And when we run the LTHQ software, it's a combination of the hardware and software. So the software is going to run on your laptop, and you're going to configure games that will then send commands to the LTHQ, and the LTHQ box will then communicate with your laser tag guns. Okay? So the software on here is designed to run on Linux. Well, my gateway computer runs on a Windows XP. But what's nice here, and I'm going to open this with one hand. Can you do it, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, you can. Okay. So this uh, runs uh, Windows 7. But um, what I've done here is this has an SD slot right here. And what I've put on here, on this card, I've got two gigabytes on this card. And uh, this has the LTHQ um, and a Linux distribution all, all on this card here. So what I do is, I'll put this back in in the slot, there we go, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, and i got to look for the F12 key, so when it comes up, I press the F12, now it's going to enter boot device menu, so now I can select, do I want to boot from the internal drive or the USB generic multi-card, so I'm going to go down, and I'm going to select 2, and then press enter and so now it's going to boot from the SD card and right away we go right into our laser tag team ops and this was last built on um, April 28, 2011 okay and this is uh, built again by Doug Marsh so uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit enter to continue and it will go into a boot mode and we're booting into Linux and all the Linux is uh, on this SD card as you can see okay so it takes a little while for it to boot up while it's booting I just want to comment real quickly if you're out in the field and you don't have uh, power to power your laptop um, one thing that you can do is on this one I went ahead and found a a um, cigarette plug adapter for this and so I'm actually running this off of a one of these portable battery um, I'm not even sure what these are called chargers they have like a built-in air compressor and things like that but it has a, a DC plug a uh, I'm sorry a uh, cigarette plug okay and and this is portable I could take this out into the field plug this in I got plenty of power for uh, the uh, for the laptop so I've used this several times so if if any of you have netbooks um, like that, I highly recommend getting a setup like this because it makes um, powering your laptop last so much longer. Okay, so we're now booted up into the Linux, and this is just the operating system. Okay, we're not using the internal drive or anything like that. And let's focus here. Okay. So when you first come in here, one of the first things I do when I do this, and you may, your mileage may vary, you may not need to do this, but I always have to go in, because this mouse is just so sensitive for me. So I have, every time I boot up, I've got to do this routine. i go to got to go in system, and I apologize, this isn't focusing. Let me just go to autofocus here. Maybe that might help. And uh, I go to preferences and I go down to mouse I know this is exciting Oop. and I've got to every time go to general and I gotta reduce this here now I don't know if there's a way it could remember this or not I wish there was but um, we're just gonna do that for right now 
and uh, hit the X. Filming and do that at the same time. Okay. Alrighty. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna switch hands here. So, uh, what we do now is let's see if I can do it this way. I'm trying to make the best way to film and do this at the same time here. So, bear with me. Okay. So, I'm gonna go to this little funny funky icon here, and it's focusing on the wrong area. Okay, right here. So I'm going to click on this, and I go to Games, LTHQ, Laser Tag HQ. And we'll click on that, and we get this nice window here. This is a splash screen, and this talks about the, um, the distribution and uh, everything else like this. It has Doug Rosh's email address, or his, uh, yeah, his email address. So what you do is, uh, there's nothing, it doesn't say, should say start, but it says close. So we're going to close this box, and it takes us to the startup screen here. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and um, maximize this. And uh, this is the, I apologize, with my shaky camera movement here. Let's see if I can get a better position on this for you. Okay, so this is uh, what you see when you first start the LTHQ. And uh, what you need to do is to apologize. I got to get my focus right. Okay. Um, you can customize. This is how you customize. So you go to game right here, and you get some options. You got start over, edit game, player names, MPN reconnect, and quit. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit game. Okay. And what this is going to do, it's going to take us to the, to the, um, where we can customize how the game works here. And you get this nice little simple dialog box. All right. Now you can customize your games through this. If you click on this, you get all these different games that you can select. And then you can do game time, tags, reloads, all this stuff. But if you go to change view, change view, you get a little bit more options. Okay, that's great. So you get some rollouts. But now if you go here to change view again, you get even more options. And so this is the maximum number of options. If I click change view again, it'll go back to the smaller option window. So it's, it's called simple rollouts and all rollouts. And you go again. This is called advance so we're going to be live on the dangerous side and go to advance okay so we've got a lot of different options here and i apologize um i am not a hundred percent proficient in everything that this does doug has set this up so that um, you can do a lot of different things with the lthq and i'm just going to go through with what i know and um, we'll just do a simple game here. So right now we got it on custom. Again, you can go through and you select all these stock games here. Team, two teams, three teams. So the stock prefix there is what comes normal in the LTHQ. Okay. Um, if you come, scroll down a little bit more, stock respawn, blah, 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 blah. I keep going down. Now you get some that don't say stock. Okay, these are the ones that Doug Marsh has uh, put in and he made on his own and they're in here. And so there's quite a few. And some of these, I'm not 100% certain how the games work. Um, like this 12 on 12, the WIP prefix means work in progress. Uh, one hit wonder. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how these work. Doug did explain it to me at one time, but I didn't quite catch, uh, it didn't click with me. So anyways, but we'll go through some standard games here. Okay, we'll just do a custom, a simple custom game. Okay, and we'll click enter on that. And then we can come over here and we can customize. Let me just focus a little bit better. We can customize our game time, 